What's going on, everybody? <laughs> I figured I'd at least show you guys the chickens in a different way. Yeah. On well, the live. They're over here just crawling away. <laughs> and they are, and they are very busy today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Can you guys hear us okay? We're outside. We're not in our normal spot today. No. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to hold it up like this most of the time. I know. Wow. Can you guys hear me okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> I have no idea who's in the chat. And these roosters are being uh, very loud. I know, they just. As soon I'm, as you get around, they just. I'm gonna go. I know, every time I come out here, guys. <laughs> Can't uh, even talk. <laughs> It's like, oh, the master's here. Let me uh, make some noise. But I do see some people in the chat. I can't really see. Who's in the chat? Uh, let me go to live chat first. Let me see uh, here. I see uh, Heather Hopper. Hey. Uh, uh, Gary. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> Gary Hardesty. He says, country is here. Hey, Anthony. I went uh, back to my Air Force days and purchased a PlayStation 2 to play Doom. <laughs> Sure got me uh, through while I was overseas. LOL. Dude, I I know it, dude. Doom is such a great game. Yeah, that was a good game. Too. It was a very great game. Yeah, love it. I actually have my original PlayStation, PlayStation One, the big one. I kept it. <laughs> can you guys hear us okay though? Uh, I haven't seen anything in the see. chat. I, I just want to make sure you guys can hear us. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes we need good. to talk louder, but. Yeah, it's probably me, but. All right. Everybody, I mean, I see somebody says sounds good. Uh, oh, hi, Paul. Paul, Paul Honeyman. House. What's yeah, up, Paul? Yeah, hey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Lindsay Scott says, be seeing y'all soon. Oh, cool. Yeah. I know. Can't wait to see you in... Um, Audio is fine. Yeah, awesome. you and Drew again, man, Lindsay. Yeah. It's going to be nice to yeah, see you guys. Yeah, long time no see, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, huh? The old Jewel says, they want to be in the chat. The chickens. They do. Look, guys. They're just... They're, every time, they're just always up in my face. This is the boys' coop, guys, if you're wondering. And I got a, <laughs> and I got a story to tell you guys about these hanging feeders up here in a minute. But this isn't the chicken live, no. so I don't want to be the chicken yeah. live. Well, and Paul says, see and hear you, okay. Next rooster that crows is dinner. <laughs> All right. We're going to walk away, guys. Because I, I know it gets loud with the rooster sometimes. Yeah, and they just don't know when to stop. And they don't. They just keep going and going and going. Let's we wanted to do this live just a little bit different today. Usually we're inside Thunderdome right there. But, oops, sorry. But I thought it would be nice to do a different type of live. Sorry, guys. There. There we go. Um, do like a walk around live. And we haven't really done like a complete Q&A in a while. Yeah. And so I thought today would be a good time to do maybe a Q&A, maybe you guys have some questions about anything that's going on uh, with me and Roxanne and, and uh, Wyatt or anything. And if you guys want to see the view of the mountain live, here's the view right here. Oh, well, I've seen if somebody you guys asked, are wondering. Yeah, somebody asked how uh, Wyatt was doing, and he's doing a lot better. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's uh, doing good. Yeah, he's... He gets backed up, if that makes sense to you guys. And so. I don't mind saying it. I'll explain. Like, why it gets constipated really bad. Yeah. And I think it's just, um, he's been like that ever since he was born. Yeah. Quite honestly. Um, I mean, it's common in kids because they just don't know when to stop and, you know. And we do look at his diet. We make sure, you know, we, he eats fiber and we try to keep it down on the dairy a lot of the times. But I think it's just his body. And he also had like kidney problems when he was little. Yeah. yeah. And I think and it's just, I don't know. Oh, but he, he's doing better. Yeah. He is doing better. Guys. Yeah, he's feeling normal again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I mean, he's not even over here. He's been playing with the kids all day. So. Yeah, we haven't even seen why except for this morning at like 9 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, Cindy Brown says, Are you going to show us the new fridge? Yeah, we can show them the fridge. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Of course, yeah. yeah it's a fridge. You know, a yeah. normal fridge you put food in, you know. Yeah. Uh, but we are very excited about it, guys. Yeah. Sherry Udell asked, are you going to insulate the skirting on your house? Yes. So you guys are just going to have to pay, uh, 
not pay attention, but watch for further videos because we have everything lined up right now. Yes. We're um, working out our plan right now. We did go to Ron's, um, and that's where we bought our fridge, but they also sell skirting. Yeah. They also sell piping and electrical stuff and everything you can think of for a house. Yeah. And so, yeah. just keep watching out. Yeah, we are going to skirt it, yes. Yeah. Uh, Brad Cable asked, did uh, you ever find Wyatt's shoes and boots? Yes, we found them. Um, we also, this weekend, bought him a new pair of shoes. We did. And I actually got him some slippers, so when he's kind of over here just doing his thing, he can wear his slippers. He can't play outside yeah. with them. But he does have nice slip-on shoes that are easy to, you know, take on and off. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, being out in the country too, guys, right? Like, especially with kids, like I've said before, I mean, they lose their shoes in a pile of weeds, and you, you won't see them again until winter because it's so overgrown. Yeah. And that's happened. Yeah. And so it's very important that they don't take their shoes off. And Wyatt being eight, he does it all the time. Yeah, yeah. So it's becoming a problem before. A works little fellow. Hey! <laughs> uh, Elizabeth uh, Sh Sharp. Yeah. Uh, um, Sarber. Sarber, yeah. There you go. How's the house coming on? Please spill the beans. <laughs> it's coming along great, guys. Yeah, it's coming along. Roxanne and myself, we have, I know we've been doing drywall forever, yeah. it seems like. And especially maybe from you guys, um, the outside looking in, it probably feels like all you ever see is drywall from yeah. us, right? <laughs> especially recently, right? Well, I mean, that's but it, what we're doing. <laughs> it takes a long time, and inside a shed like this to make it a house, there's a lot of angles and outlets and different things, you know, and it just takes a while, but we are just about there. I know. And I mean, like, right there i can see the end now it's in mm -hmm. sight <laughs> mm -hmm. i love it yeah uh hypocrite Let's keep walking. yeah sorry i don't really want to go that way it's fun to go okay. i know we're gonna go this way uh hypocrite gardens asked uh did you get why did why get his amazon package i'm not sure i don't think well we I haven't think so we haven't been to the p.o box in a little while and but mountie and gary have and they would have given this a package yeah but i don't even know if they've been down there no. recently so so um not yet uh hypocrite's garden but here you guys get a live tour of the property for maybe some of you guys that have only seen it in videos yeah. what, what would it, what would you guys like to see yeah what does it look like during the day yeah this <laughs> is during the day and non-edited and all the trash everywhere as you guys can see in different things as you guys can see. No. I'm going to set this up really quick right here, guys. So I can actually read some comments. Yeah, there you go. That sounds good. There we go. Um, let's see. Country Road here, this is what Cindy Brown says, but it was from... Hold up. I lost the question. Uh, Tiny Bubbles asked, uh, will you, Wyatt, move into bedrooms prior to the kitchen being completed? I don't know. We're still debating on that. <laughs> like, what would I would like to do? Uh, we've talked about this. Is maybe get the bedrooms done first, and then work on the kitchen living room. So we're out of the trailer, like 100%. If that makes sense. So we don't have to deal with the trailer anymore, and then we just have we have nice finished bedrooms, and we'll see what what happens. Yeah. There's, there's so much we have to do still. <laughs> um, we got to winterize the house still. You know, we have to, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. No. It's and people already seen it because I spilled the beans, I guess, already. But here's the fridge, guys. I'm sorry. They're already like, oh, nice fridge. Well, yeah. Do we you want to show them the fridge? Yeah, we can show them the fridge. Real quick. Well, Let's here's see. the fridge, guys. Here's the outside of it. Here, we can go up there. I'm going to let Roxanne go up. Hippocrutes. Hippocrutes. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Hippocrutes. Uh, so there's Roxanne's new fridge, guys. She's very excited about it. <laughs> and I know it's just the fridge, but you guys have to remember. Yeah. Look, I even got stuff in there. You guys have to remember. We haven't had one of these in like a year and a half. Yeah. So, yeah, and let me put a, it back to Roxanne. A, yeah, we got food in there already. Yeah, nothing in the freezer yet. Freezer's still empty. And then I have ice and water on the door. Yeah, that was one request Roxanne asked for was an ice maker. Just an ice maker. 
and so we got it. Yeah, but this is both. And so. it's if you guys are wondering, it's a Frigidaire uh, gallery fridge. I don't know the exact model, but it's nice. Yeah, very nice fridge. Yeah. Sweet. Sounds fun. Yeah. So, got to love it, guys. Um, it's been nice having a fridge. We've only had it for a day. <laughs> Just for one day, but we've already put a whole bunch of stuff in there, and it's been so great. I'll take a look at that in a second. Yeah. It could be the thing, but it's alright. Oh, no, there it is. Alright. So, yes. How long until the skirting will be uh, delivered? So, actually, Cindy, we it's not going to be a delivery. We're going to have to go pick it up. Yes. <laughs> Let me put this back up. I don't want to move this too much. There it goes. It's an oddball live today. Yeah. Make it work. Yeah. Um, but no, we have to pick up the skirting ourselves. They won't deliver it out here. I mean, I didn't really even ask, but I don't think they deliver it out here anyway, so. No, but it's all right. I mean, yeah. we can get it with the trailer and stuff. That'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Crazy John says, fill the freezer with ice cream. I know. I wish. It'd be gone in like two days. Yeah, I t well, <laughs> I mean, long story short, you know, I love ice cream, so Anthony always gets to suffer and never get any because I said, if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it. I'm telling you. It's true. It's Do you, true. Yeah, we'll go buy ice cream and I'll be like, oh, cool. It's like five gallons of ice cream. And in less than a week, it's gone. Yeah. And I get like one little scoop. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, I share with Wyatt and stuff, too, so. <laughs> uh, here, I'll let you read comments. No, go ahead, Amy. Just mm -hmm. the, the further questions. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do envy you all and your lifestyle. Well, we're trying. Yeah, we're trying, but thank you, you know. Uh, it's been a lot of work. <laughs> it has been a lot of work. I mean, we're tired. We were working today. Yeah, that's why we're kind of dirty and stuff. Yeah, and we're dirty and we're kind of like, ugh, And it's Sunday, and you sh we wanted to take, you know, the weekends off. Remember, we, we told you guys that. Yeah. But we wanted to get some this drywall finish. I'm tired of doing yeah, drywall. Yeah, I'm sick of looking at it, sick of dealing with it. And so I was like, <laughs> you know what, let me let us just work at it and get it done. And I seen MT Homestead with a 999 Super Chats. Thank you, Mike and Terry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How are your pumpkins doing, Roxanne? They're doing really well, actually. They got, like, flowers growing on. They're probably looking a little shriveled up right now because it's kind of hot out there. I didn't get a chance to water this morning, but that's okay. I'll water tonight, and you'll be fine. And I got little, <laughs> little baby pumpkins on them. They're, like they're coming. This, they're, like, this big. So they're doing good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Drew's lens here. What's up, Drew? Oh, hi, Drew. What are you guys doing, man? So let's see. So we are trying to get this drywall, like I said, guys, as done, done as fast as possible. It's been a daunting task. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, I've never. A test of our patience. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't know, but sometimes Roxanne and I, we will be sitting there fighting, dude. <laughs> Arguing and fight like a married couple, right? Yeah, and well, no, it's bickering. We're bickering at yeah, each other. Yeah, that's what she said. Trying to get this drywall done. And it's not like drywall is the hardest thing to do, but it's so tedious and just, yeah. you just don't want to do it anymore. Well, it gets frustrating too at times. And so we'll have to like take breaks and stuff. And it's like, yeah. You guys like, see all these flies around here? Yeah, God. like Cindy Brown just said, you still have all the mud and the taping and sanding left. I know. I don't mind that, though, Cindy. Uh, I don't. It's like, honestly, it's like... I guess it's easier because you don't have to measure and then cut and then measure and then cut, you know? That's what really sucks Yeah. It's, about it. It's, the, it's measuring. the measuring and, you know, it's so frustrating when you're trying to cut an outlet out. And you're like, yeah, it's perfect. I measured it five times. There's no way it's wrong. Yeah. And you cut it out and you put it up there and it's wrong. Yeah, it's like too far over. And it's like, what's going on like, here? No, why? And then I've, I even cut it out, measured on the drywall, and it's like 38 inches, for example. And I'm like, okay, this is cut exactly at 30 inch, 38 inches. I will go to the wall, measure again, and it's 38 inches. And I'm like, why is this not fitting? Yeah. It does not make sense to me. 
something is not right here. So yeah, very frustrating. Sometimes. Yeah, uh, Carolyn Lewinsky. I think that's how you say it. Lewinsky. Yeah, see, I got it. Yeah. Uh, rocks. Uh, have you planted your fall garden, Anthony? Are you going to build a hoop hoop or a hoop greenhouse in the garden? Yes. Yes. Well, you well you answer first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have. I. I do need to go out there and plant some more stuff in the beds I cleared out. I just haven't done it yet because I've been hung up on drywall. <laughs> We're trying to get the house done as yeah, much as we can before I know. winter. Yeah, it's, you know, it's all about time management right now. My time management not doing like I thought it was going to do. But that's okay. And yes, I do plan on building a hoop coop for a greenhouse. It's going to be... I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't want it to be too small. Yeah. So maybe like three or four cattle panels wide so that's like 15 feet wide to 20 feet wide for a long excuse me yeah but um it all depends on her quite honestly guys like um if she's like hey i really really need this greenhouse before the winter then i might not might not they're need, easy to build I, so. I might not need it this winter i might save that for next year and just focus on the fall garden and then once the fall garden is done just be done till spring yeah and i'm leaving that there i would yeah. hate to like just you know build it and then it doesn't get used and especially it's because here soon like we're it's all just gonna be about the house 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 you know house house <laughs> well i'm telling you guys like i've said before in videos and on lives like i want to be in here having christmas dinner yeah this year yeah that is the goal does it mean it's finished to the T? No. No. That but, doesn't mean that, but I mean, it could mean that. Yeah, but we can stay in there. And Sleeping, just, yeah. waking up, drinking coffee, watching TV, having, having Christmas dinner yeah. in the house. Yeah. This Christmas. Yeah. And that's three months away. Yeah. And so, we have so much work we have to do before that can happen. We got, we have to finish the deck, the top of this deck. We have to do the skirting. We have to finish insulating the water lines underneath the house. We have to finish the drywall. <laughs> it's almost done. We gotta insulate. We have to insulate. <laughs> um, we have to buy cabinets. Yeah. We have to install the kitchen cabinets. We have to, there's so much Flooring. stuff. Flooring. And sometimes yeah. I think about that, guys, and I get overwhelmed, like in my mind. Yeah. And I sit there and stress out, and I'm like, how is this gonna be possible? And, cause you guys gotta remember too, it's not like seven days a week, 12 hours a day this is what we're doing yeah we do have you know, eight, an eight-year-old we yeah. he goes to school we have to make dinners we have you know editing to do we have you know to town to go do different things so we can't spend every waking moment building <laughs> I we wish. just can't i know and i wouldn't want to do that anyway because i'm telling you, you guys, burn yourself you out get burnt yeah and we've been doing it a year and a half and i'm you give her yeah real quick i'm going kind of way back up here That's so okay. gary hardesty asked hey mm -hmm. did you get the rest of the supplies to, for finishing your porch and roxanne my wife loves your mushrooms and she already has her painted uh, paint brushes ready oh that's super cool i love to hear that yeah roxanne those crafts that she does on roxy homemaker she just did one video of the mushroom craft it's yeah. so cool yeah it's very cool if you guys haven't seen that you should go check it out seriously yeah and then yes we do have the rest of the supplies to finish the deck, yeah. which is also on our list of things we'd like to get done before winter comes. <laughs> yeah. And Cindy, I've seen you ask, uh, how's Melanie doing? She's doing good. I mean, as good as she can be. Yeah. She's She's been hanging out at the basement with her and Gary and the kids. Wyatt's over there. Yeah. You stopped um, by, I think, earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. I was over there. I think that was yesterday. She's just relaxing. She's doing or the all day right. before. Yeah. Like I said, the best she can. Yeah. Um. They got their own stuff going on over there right now. Yeah. So we're staying away. And plus, I mean, that kind of stuff, to be honest, guys, like it just, I stay away when people are sick, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't like going around sick people. And I know Melanie's not sick, sick, but she's sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I stay away from that stuff. I, uh, it's a thing of mine. It's a phobia, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Coffee Angel Crafts. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Lynette. How yeah. you doing? I don't know if my dad's there, but hey. Hi, Brian. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Drew's Len said, um, I love to come pitch in and help when I get home if you all have, if you guys will have me. Oh. Drew, you know you're always allowed over here, bro. Yeah, maybe painting. 
Yeah, we maybe gotta, we get you over here on one of these brushes, we gotta, bro. We got some painting we got to do. But I have some really cool ideas for Wyatt's room. I'm just going to throw that out there really quick. Because people were asking on the last yep. video. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I have some really cool ideas for his room. And I've been talking to him about it and trying to get him all excited. Yep. But, you know, for kids sometimes it's hard for them to, like, visualize things until they see it. And then all of a sudden they're excited. Yeah, then they're really excited. So. Yeah. And you did have a question um, from Elizabeth Sarver asked if you have planted potatoes. No, I would like to. Maybe I'll focus on that next year. I told her <laughs> potatoes would be really good. I would like some eggplant. Yeah. Um, radishes. Next year by springtime, I hope. Turnips. Yeah, I hope things are going to be. I mean, things are going to be different, right? Because we won't be building. We, we'll just be working on other things. So I'm hoping that I can expand on the gardening area and plant more and different things than what I planted this year. That's my yeah. plan. I mean, we're trying to do a lot at one time, right guys? We're trying to build a house. We're trying to do a garden. We're trying to raise chickens. We're trying to <laughs> I know. clear the land, do this, do that. And it's a lot of work sometimes. Yeah, so. yeah, it is. It's just... We're trying to focus more on getting the house finished. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now. Yeah. Yeah, right now. We need to move out of here because there is 9,000 billion flies I flying know, around me. We move around over and there. it's and the killing me, guys. Do you guys see all these flies flying around? <laughs> like, I'm swatting them left and right. Get off of me. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's just keep sneaking at it. I know, I'll go look at it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, what? you can come over here. That way, we're not in the sun. All right. Let me flip this around, guys. Here's Roxanne's garden. Sorry yeah. for the sun flares a little bit. Don't look at my pumpkins, guys. They're not that bad. They are very wilted, though, right now. They're very wilted right now. <laughs> they are. Look at yeah, that. There's her pumpkins right here. Everything else looks great, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Granny Lana says, CRC, I can't wait um, till you can make more coasters. I have uh, the two best. <laughs> <laughs> we have, hopefully, um, I don't like doing a lot of review stuff, guys, right? But there's this one company, and you guys are hearing it here first. I'm not going to explain too, too much. Yeah. But there's this one company that um, emailed us, and the product that they want to send us is really, really awesome. Yeah. Like for you subscribers, for us, for all around, just cool stuff. Yeah. So. I'm excited for it. Stick around. You guys, I'm sure, will learn more about it. <laughs> but it's like on the coaster thing, you know, there's so much things, we, so many things we could do with this product. We'll, we'll see, though. Yeah. Let's get in the shade. Yeah. Right I just wanted to get away from those flies. You did on purpose. The flies around here, guys, and I know someone said before it was, oh, that's, you know, normal country life. I'm sorry, man. These flies are insane yeah. over here. Uh, and it's not, it's, it has nothing to do with us. It's literally just, they're everywhere. Yeah. No matter what you do. Real quick. Yes. You can go on a tangent about flies. I will. Flies. About these uh, flies. Yeah. Evelyn uh, Smith, why d didn't you all finish the big shed during the winter before it got so hot? Just curious. Uh, well, last year we were working on Thunderdome, our small shed, and we didn't finish that till November. Yeah, it was around November ish or so. Yeah. It was before Thanksgiving, I know that. And there wasn't even a deck on it. No. So it was just the inside. We got that done, and then um, we built the deck, and then it got really cold. Yeah. And we did actually work on the shed beginning of the year, the house. In January. In January, we started building, framing in the walls and running the power and stuff in there. That's what I was say. That's when we first framed um, our bedroom walls and the bathroom walls is, was in January. Yeah, and plus, also, after we finished Thunderdome, we built the pole barn. Yep. Specifically because we wanted to store all our house stuff in there. Yep. But so we can clear it out, which... No, I mean, it's still working for what we wanted. True. We, we have a we, lot of totes in there. Yeah, that are, we moved all of our belongings that were in the house outside into yeah. the pole barn. So that's kind of why it didn't work out that way. Yeah. I mean, we had a whole plan, right? Yeah. And our plans come into fruition, and it's working the way we intended. We have Thunderdome for somewhere to hang out 
and have a room so we can cool off or warm up and work on the house so it's like a little tiny super mini house yeah like a tiny house tiny tiny house yeah us. and it's worked out that way and it's been great yeah no it was definitely um i'm glad we did it and finished it first before yeah. we did anything else <laughs> so yeah yeah. I won't, I'll see if I can. Everybody's talking hmm? about flies. I'm telling you, the flies are insane. <laughs> Paul says, Anthony, you do know flies are always flying around shit, right? That's right. <laughs> it's true, dude. We have a bunch of dogs and cats around here. And now all these 33 chickens, man, they ain't helping. So, <laughs> plus it's actually a little bit warmer today, guys, you know, than, uh, I wouldn't say the normal, but it's warmer, so they're out doing their thing. Yeah. Pretty soon. In like a month. Yeah, think, right. No, think about it. It's going to be colder. They're, they're not going to be around as much. <laughs> it's true, guys. No, see, that's why I said, yeah, right, because I knew exactly where you're going. Remember, it was like January and they were flying around. And you were like, I thought flies die. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it. And what you guys, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys know this, but coming from Vegas, there's no flies there. No. I there mean, are no flies. There was flies, because remember, that's why we had the bug assault gun. And nothing. When I say there's no flies, I mean mm -hmm. there is no flies. Yeah, there was like nothing this. like You this. may see a, one fly a day, maybe. Here you see 300 flies an hour. Just hanging out, <laughs> doing their thing. Yeah. But it's okay. Hanging out all over you. We're getting okay. used to it. The country life is a little different than uh, obviously what we've been used to in the past, but I really enjoy it. I love doing this stuff. I love the view we have and living out here in the woods. It is so nice. Yeah. And I feel so fortunate to have this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Well. Do you guys have any other questions? I'd love okay. to answer some random see, questions uh, maybe uh, you guys have. With SLR. Hi, Mel. Is Mel here? Yeah. Here, Mel, do you see? I'm right out front. Right, out. I'm sure you guys are down in the basement right now. <clears throat> Ask you anything? Okay, I have a big question. Real talk with SLR. What's up? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I see real quick. I'm sure you probably know the, the answer, Melanie. I know that's you on the, on the yeah, thing. It has to be you. Let's see. A work's little fields wonder if the chicken free range, would that get rid of the flies? No, it won't. Yeah, I don't think so. Chickens free ranging. They're not gonna. Eat, they don't eat flies. They'll eat like certain type of chickens will eat ticks and chiggers and different things like that, but not flies. They fly off too quick. Yeah. Plus, I mean, we have a lot of people that say all the time, "You should let your chickens free range. You should do this, do that." We have like six dogs here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I promise you. And cats. Promise you. Why? If we let them free range, there's going to be dead chickens the first day. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Mora will kill chickens. I think uh, Lola will kill chickens. Luna probably will just by because she wants to play with them. And so we can't do that. No. And Melanie asked, the big question was when. No, oh, I've seen that, yeah. <laughs> when. When, yeah. <laughs> when, when I say, Mel, yeah. when. Here, I'm going to go walk down there really quick for two seconds come on guys you guys want to go see melanie's area and you better start uh clean it up real quick mel because i'm gonna be down there for like two seconds and then that'll be that so just so you guys know i do have neighbors around here see but it's only going to be for just a second guys come out and say hi melanie if you're still watching come on this is SLR's compound, guys, right here. The life reclaimed, right here. <clears throat> All right. See, a nice, easy walk from our house. All right. I don't want to show nothing, Melanie, if you don't want to show it. so. Because you guys know how it is. It's, uh, it's when. Everything's planned. It's when. See? Hi, guys. There you guys go. My chicken wing's doing better. I saw you guys asking. I said you're doing as best as you can. Yeah. Oh, the rash is still pretty disgusting. For real, it's pretty disgusting. It's a little shade. I know, just real quick. Yeah, so We're going to walk right back up. But But I have more movement. I got a lot more movement, but I'm still, like, just trying to lay low and just let, you know, Gary handle most everything because 
It is what it is, man. It is busy, what it busy. is. It is what it is. It's outside. I say we, but I mean Gary. Why not? I'm nothing. That's why I said you better get outside real quick. <laughs> you guys will have to see on our channel. Uh, exactly. We will be posting a new video for you guys tomorrow. I think you guys will be excited for it. All right. How are you? So when? Yeah, when? When, guys? When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? No. Funny. What what is the thing? Have you ever seen the sign? Uh, it says free beer tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You get there like, out. oh crap, free beer tomorrow. You're like, no, hey, I'm here for the free beer. No, no read tomorrow. the sign. That's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. What? <laughs> That's when. Yeah, That's <laughs> when. <laughs> no, you guys are just kicking butt. I do not envy you guys right now with all the uh the work with the drywall. We're almost done. I know. I know. It's just a pain. And if you guys have a large area to do, oh my god, I think god. you guys have more than we had. That's the whole house. Uh, yeah. well. Yeah, I think you guys have more than we had. Or about the same. Yeah, I would say. Regardless, just we had to take a break earlier. We were getting frustrated, so not today, <gasps> but like in general. Yeah, yeah. we're like, nope, yeah. I'm like done. no, it's bad. I'm done. Bad, bad. I know. I hate drywall, but you know what? It does look really nice when it's done, and it's the most oh, yeah. affordable route to oh, go. Oh, and it's a good insulator. Mhm. Mm so I would love to do like wood. Yeah. In the whole house, inside all wood, kind of like. Uh, Groovy Eggs cabin, if you guys seen his, it's all wood. Sorry. It's all wood on the inside. But nowadays, the price of that, forget it. Even if yeah. milling it, that would have taken a year. We would, I mean, the only way that you guys, or that I can do it or anything, I'll speak for myself, but the only way that we could do that, uh, at least right this very second, is if we get to milling and then let it sit. We probably will have to do, then that'll be like an upgrade later. At first, we'll live with the drywall and stuff like what we have down here just oh so yeah could, just so we could live and yeah. get out of the darn trailer. well i i love drywall like yeah. the finished look of drywall i have no problems with it but you can always add wood on top of drywall you certainly <laughs> okay. can you don't have to take if it if you really wanted to yeah oh and here's the myth the legend <laughs> gary's taking a mr break. gary <laughs> poor, poor gary i just the whip cracked on him and well i just came over yeah i wanted to come over here and just and say, hey, I, we really do have neighbors, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they are right down the road. You Long know, time no see, guys. Up yonder a piece, you know. <laughs> just around the bend. Yeah. You know. yeah. It's not like we don't see you guys, you know, every day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think some people don't believe it half the time. So. Yeah, I don't right. think so either. And I don't think that uh, I need to keep I need to keep uh, spreading the word. I think we need to get some of our people over down over this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got to get it, guys. Yeah, you guys got to get it. And your people got to come over our way. That's you right. You guys got a lot of subscribers we don't have, and we have some that you don't have. That's right. Yeah, right. Family, right. family compound. <laughs> It's the squirrel and hyena show. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> that was Paul. Hi, Paul. How's it going? Trust me, dude. It is squirrel and hyena around here, Paul. You have no idea. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been doing a whole lot of nothing, though, guys. I've been laying my butt around. I haven't on? really been doing anything. Poor Gary's been working. doing everything. Yes, Melanie's definitely been cracking the whip. I hear it over here. I'm like, what's that sound? All I hear is psh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, Gary's back at work. And I'll say, hey, babe, babe, be quiet. <laughs> and I come back, and there's like a house built, and like, you know, a pole barn's up, and a pool's in. I'm like, man, dude, I wasn't here yesterday. I'm sitting there loafing on a But I heard that whip. <laughs> hey, the man oh, can put man. it in. I'm telling you, when, when, oh, yeah. when, it's, when one of us are down, it definitely sucks, though. You feel it. You feel it. Yeah. Like when rocks and your poor <laughs> eyes were going down and you oh, were having yeah. all those issues, you know. I'm oh, sure yeah. Anthony felt yeah. it just, you know. Well, I just like, well, she had to hide in the trailer for like three days. I felt super bad. She couldn't even, she couldn't watch TV. Yeah, couldn't, no, She that's couldn't worse. do anything. That's yeah. worse. Had to sit there in the dark, just miserable. See, and I'm miserable, but at least I don't have to sit there in the dark. That yeah. sucks, though. Watching TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm catching up on everybody's YouTube and just watching TV. <laughs> I never get downtime like this. <laughs> Paul says, uh, it's funny. Anthony, that's not her whip. She's been using a 22 long rifle. Poor Gary. <laughs> I thought that was a bug bite. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're going to head back up. I just wanted to say hi to them. Yep. Yeah. Since she was in the chat, I was like, I'm going to go say hi. I'll pop back in so I can say hi to everybody on the chat. So well, we'll see. Fun. Yeah, we'll see you guys online tomorrow. So All right. We'll let yeah, you guys make sure you guys go check out Simple Life Reclaimed. If you guys haven't, I'm pretty sure. Love you guys. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of you guys have checked them out, but that's my sister and my brother in law. Um, like I said, just in case you guys don't know, and sorry about the sun right now. 
but they bought the property with Roxanne and myself and they're building their house right here we're building our house up here and they do videos twice a week and lives and all that stuff to you guys if you guys have not checked out their channel or don't know who they are simple life reclaim so yes all right but oh, let's get back in the shade <laughs> real quick do you want to take this for a second baby just for like two seconds or just a few minutes yeah. for me come on guys ask roxanne anything it's 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 ask roxanne a question time i'll be right back guys so i gotta catch up on my chat thing i turn my phone off so let me uh because i can't so what's going on guys <laughs> um let's see uh lampkin family homestead did you guys get your son's bathroom done we'll have to wait and find out I'm not gonna spill no beans like that <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, Kathleen McGinley. I see Gary put the Starlink over. Yes. <laughs> they got Starlink over there now. Uh, let's see. Uh, SLR, uh, Real Talk with SLR Rocks. I got a question. So what or when can we see another Roxy Homemaker video? Uh, I got to think about it. I just put one out, uh, I think it was this week on Wednesday, so... I'm trying to do it every two weeks, so sometimes it doesn't work out like that. But, I do know what I'm going to do for my next video. I just don't know when I'm going to put it out. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Melanie. Yeah, they turned out really cool. The uh, sunflower one, I never did one like that before. But I'll have to uh, do another one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you planning... Uh, Let's see, Nutty, not so, not, no, not soper. Hi, Roxanne from Australia. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, oh, man, where'd your comment go? There it is. Uh, what are you planning for your garden next? Well, I need to come out here and plant some more cabbage, um, some Brussels sprouts, and my lettuce and all that good stuff. I haven't done any of that yet. Like, I haven't touched the garden since I last did it on video. That was the last time I did anything with it. So, I need to come back out here and do that. Like, soon. <laughs> what do you need to do? Work on the garden. See, Roxanne has done such a phenomenal job in this garden, guys. Like, seriously, I hope you guys know how much effort this lady right here puts in on this garden. And I know it's not like this giant secret garden man where's the waterfall and kind of a thing but in time it is very yeah, awesome in time it will She's happen done such a good job <laughs> i think uh well rooks littlefield ask any more eggs Ooh, yes <laughs> yes here let me show you guys i want i actually wanted to show you guys this look at this really quick it's funny you mentioned that o'rourke so we're gonna go in the house real quick guys okay. let me turn the music down look at this so I've been saving every single egg that we've gotten so far. And take a look guys. So this isn't all of them. So look at these colors. So this is the first six that we've gotten. So here it is. Look at that. These are the first six. And look at this one. It's like a brownish non-green you know look at there's white look at the color that helps you guys out All right compared to white All right and then yesterday uh, we got three in the same basket and I was like oh my god and I was all happy All right and so um, now I'm putting them in the fridge and then check out these ones they're pretty similar to what you guys already seen, but look. So this is just the past two days. We've gotten these ones. No, I didn't bring the And this one, Jeff, I hopefully you can see this. Let me put it by the white. That has got to be a copper maroon. Yeah, that's pretty big and black. I mean oh, bl brown. Yeah. Right? Because the copper marons are the brown egg layers and then we got green and we got blue oh 
They're so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we got four eggs right now that, like I said, we're, we threw in the, in the refrigerator and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> We'll have to go out there. They were out there squawking right before we went live. Uh, one of them was in the coop. I could hear them in there, like squawking. Oh, really? Right. Doing this little song, you know. Doing the, the egg song. So maybe, maybe you got an egg in there. I don't know. Yeah. So, and it's funny, and we've had people tell us this already, and uh, we haven't had to deal with it yet because we haven't had no chickens yet. They said, oh, you got five nesting boxes. You only need one, right, as a joke. <laughs> You guys ain't playing, yeah. because I put that fake egg in the nesting box, and every single egg I found has been in the same nesting box. Yeah, they have their favorite one, but you might have a random one that lays one in a different one. That's true. You know, so they have well, options. We shall see. Yeah. We shall see. I'm very excited about it. Me too. Um, but this is step one of self-sufficiency for for us. Yeah, I mean that. You know, of what we want to do and our plans for the, the future. Yeah. And we're already talking about the processing and the cycle of everything and couldn't do it until there was an egg. Yeah. Kind of a thing. So I'm very excited. Yeah, now you got almost a full dozen eggs. Mm hmm Well, those first six we're not going to eat. No. These not. ones right here. Yeah. Um, I just want to take a lot of pictures of them and <laughs> keep them forever. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, your chickens do free range in their very nice yard. Yeah, they free range in the coop. Yeah. I would love to have the chickens be able to go out into like, you know, the woods and stuff, but I'm telling you guys, man, the dogs. I promise well, you, dogs they'll, they'll and kill them. Wildlife. I mean, I know there's like armadillos that live in that power field. More have found them. You yeah. know, stuff like that. So I prefer not to. <laughs> And uh, Tamara Brown says, Roxanne, you look radiant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, isn't my wife pretty, guys? Oh, yeah. Aren't I so lucky? Like, seriously. She makes me look... Are you guys ever been around somebody that you think is such good looking, you just feel ugly around them? Oh, jeez. That's me with her. I just feel ugly around her. Oh, it's true, baby. No. It is true. <laughs> Telling you, man. Uh... Jared the Jet says, good job on sheetrock. Thanks, we're trying. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, why are some so secret about YouTube earnings? I don't know, Mike's wheelchair. So you said, have no idea. We're very transparent around here in these parts. Roxanne is stunning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Telling you guys, man, I got lucky, man. Yes, Anthony, you married up. Yeah. From Paul. <laughs> I know, Paul. <laughs> Trust me. I know. It's true, baby. Yeah. I got super lucky with her, guys. Yeah. If, uh, there was a video. I don't know which video it was, but I explained, like, when I first met you and all that stuff at, like, a house party and different things. Yeah. My house party. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get some water. Okay. I'm dying. Rock yeah. It's, it's hot and I'm tired, too. Yeah, we've been getting it today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been nonstop. But we are trying to get done. I know, like I said, winter is coming. We're ready. We're ready for it. Oh but we are, we are planning the best we can to prepare for winter. Yeah. The skirting, once we get the skirting on here, guys, inside the, in the house, in the shed, um, I think that's going to be a winterized game changer kind of a thing. Well, that would be a lot of worry off the plate. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But That's coming. it's coming, guys. It's coming. Anthony looks like your typical Civil War veteran from the old Western. <laughs> Come on, Paul. I'm not that raggedy, raggedy am I? Mm -hmm. You guys think I'm that raggedy? I have my beard's off center most of the time. But Come on, guys. Be nice to me. I love my beard. <laughs> Don't make me get all self-conscious, Paul. Yeah. All right, don't do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, man. I don't care. I'll look like a hobo and still keep the beard. I don't mind. Yes, Drew got lucky with Lindsay also from Paul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, if you guys, like, seriously, so Drew and Lindsay, Drew's lens and Lindsay, you guys know them, okay? Or who they are. 
the coolest couple, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you guys. Oh, yeah. In real life, I'm, like, and on videos, but like since we know them in real life, yeah, please. In person. in person, yeah, yes. please, dude. Yes. Well, hi, Margaret. So yes. cool people to hang out with, man. Like there, and they were one of the first few people we met too here when we moved they here. Did, yeah, that, I, both of them. Yeah. Yeah. But the, oh, yeah. Jeff was like the first person. Yeah, we met we met Bobblehead through the eggs yeah, first. Yeah, and then through Lindsay. Yep. Yeah. What did uh Cindy Brown say something? Did we call? Yeah. yeah, I think. Um, Cindy, let me look back at the comments real quick first. Uh, Cindy Brown sent you a cure. Rebecca asked uh, Roxanne, do you have one of those Wow cookbooks? I'd love to see you cook some of those dishes on your cooking channel. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I bought one for a Christmas present for her one time. Yeah, and I've actually used it a lot. I've made a lot of uh, Christmas dinners with it, and just you know, there's other recipes other than that. But yes, yeah, she I, has she has the original one, the first, the um, first, yeah, the first, the first version or whatever. Yeah, I don't have the second one. Yeah. But well, I have Christmas the, is coming up. <laughs> no, and it's really cool that the the World of Warcraft cookbook. Yeah. So perfect for her, and yeah. she she has made a lot of stuff in it, and it's just like a normal cookbook. Yeah, but it's just World of Warcraft. Yeah, they they put stuff that's in the the game in there, yeah. the, the names of stuff, the right? Souls it's so cool. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> More spiced like bread. I know, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put this down, guys, real yeah. quick. Hold on. That way, I don't have to hold it no more because my arms are getting hurting. There we go. Up a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Like I said, today's live is a little jumbled because it's just a little bit different. Today. Well, I wanted to throw this out here because nobody knows that we have the. That's why I just did that. <laughs> you guys see our, our <laughs> ceiling fan in here? Yeah. So that hasn't been on a video or nothing, but. We have a ceiling is. fan in our living room. And it's so nice. It is very nice. We got that a couple days ago. Yep. And. We were sick and tired of just using only the shop fan, and we wanted to make sure everything would fit in here anyway, so we put that in there, and so, it's been so nice. Well, it's, actually, it's a good thing we installed it now, because we ended up moving it over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, we had to move it, it back was, a It was bit. back a little bit further, so we ended up pulling it forward. So mm -hmm. it was better that we do it now instead of after, with all like, the ceiling on and stuff. That was... And Cindy's like, we've seen it right when you walked in. Yeah. I was like, I forget how, like, um, observant you guys are. Yeah. As soon as he stuff. walked in there, I was like, oh, they're going to see the ceiling fan. That's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's not like we're hiding it from no, you guys. Well, it's just... we were going to put it out. We were going to share it with you guys on the last video. And then after we were done recording and it was done for the day, we were like, oh, no. Yeah, we forgot to we show We forgot the fan. to show them the fan because we had already it installed. So. Right. Um, Cindy Brown says, um, Rox, are you going to do a Christmas card exchange this year? Hmm. I don't know. I did send out Christmas cards last year. Um, but maybe. I don't mind doing that. Right. Yeah. I love Christmas cards. I love sending them out. I look forward to it. She does. Yeah. She sends them out a lot. Yeah. I said, well, every year. <laughs> well, some, well, a lot of people are going to do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love it, man. Yeah. So we got about 10 more minutes, guys. I'm going to keep looking at this, this uh, chat right here. Is there anything you guys ever just really wanted to ask us where you may be too scared or embarrassed to ask? Well, I've seen some comments. Or I want to hear some questions, guys. I want to answer some really cool stuff to you guys. Maybe you guys just never thought about asking or randomly pop up in your head, and I'm going to try to answer every single one if I can. Let's see. Jason Wilson. What do you guys use health, uh, health insurance? Wife and I want to move off grid, but we'll, but that's holding us back. Well, right now, in all reality, we're kind of state and self-insured. Yeah. If that, <laughs> if that answers that. Yeah. So um, we had work insurance. You know, when we were back in Vegas, we had, you know, health insurance yeah. to work and mm -hmm. stuff. Now it's more like we have savings and states involved at the same time yeah we're trying our best you know do what we can do uh catherine man that's why i like you uh morrow yeah 
when is your septic uh, system going in? Catherine, I will say this. We haven't answered a lot of, uh, a lot of questions about that, but everything is all good on that front. Everything's installed the way it should be, and it's here already. He says, I got you. Thank you so much. That was uh, Jason Wilson. Yeah. Yep. And Cindy Brown, yes. That was about five or six months ago, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All had a place to go. <laughs> yeah. All the, all the piping, the wastewater, the black water, everything is going exactly where it should go, guys. Yeah. And that doesn't mean out into the woods in a pit. <laughs> okay? That's not what that means. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there anything y'all would like to learn to do but haven't been able to get in yet? Yes. <laughs> I do. I mean, I have plans for what I think I would like to do. I would really like to, and Drew would probably like this one. Uh, oh, I know, I know yeah, exactly where Drew you're going with like this one. This one yeah. I really would like to like restore or something like a um, a Volkswagen Bell, a Baja Bug, yeah. with the bug eyes. Did you hear that, Drew? Yeah, which I Is think it's like a '69 or something like that. Maybe a '68. Yeah. Maybe I could be completely wrong. Roxanne is obsessed with old school Volkswagen Beetles. Or I would love to have a Jeep Wrangler. Or a Jeep a '95, right? Yeah, a '90s Jeep yeah. Wrangler too. <laughs> Here, come on, we gotta get on. Let me get this. Sorry. Well, you're just the rocks rant, yeah. right? Well, the no, rocks he rant. asked a question I was answering. Oh, I can't see it though because you're not logged in on ours. Here, I can get logged in on ours. I can see the the orange. It's easier. Let me back up, guys. I don't want to miss no question. Uh, um, Paul says, when do you uh, are you gonna start the ceiling insulation? I uh, see that, Paul. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. We do, as you guys see. We have it. There it is. It's sitting here, ready R30, to go. Ready to go. <laughs> but we have we have things we have to do before we just throw that up there, right? You can't just throw it up and then worry about everything afterwards. Uh, real quick, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. asked, "Are you still locked out of Wow Rocks?" No, <laughs> I'm not anymore. So yeah, yeah we've been busy the last couple of nights playing. Yeah, I had to get had my to, fix in, you know. <laughs> yeah, we had to send them proof of ID and all that stuff and. Yeah. Kathleen McGinley, she does. She asked uh, real quick after the rabbits, what is the next farm animal you want to get? Uh, maybe pigs or goats. Probably goats first. We're trying to small or start small yeah. and work our way up bigger. But I will say this, guys, I have no intentions ever, ever, to raise cattle. No. Cows and so forth. Nope. Yeah. That's I know. Not my like if you have the area for them to graze and stuff they're not that bad but mm -hmm. I just I mean who knows you never know what the future may hold in yeah. 10 or 15 years from now but as of right now no no plans for that Rob have you had time to um, cut out the wind thingy out yet CK out the wind thingy yet from JB Conway oh no I haven't no. but you know what I'll do that right after this live All right. I um, will I'll go look at it Rocks, will you do goat milk soap? Yes, I would like to try learning it, you know. I would love to learn, or learn, have you learn, and then you can teach me from um, Altruistic Farmstead. Yeah. She does that. I know she and does, And the yeah. beard stuff. Yeah. And all the I'd love stuff. to get into all of that natural, yeah. using goat's milk. I'd like to do goat's milk, like yeah. have goat's milk instead of regular milk, you know. Yeah. Learn to cook with it and stuff. Right. Um, have you ran your Cox a AX cables yet before sheetrock? No, but see, the good thing about where we're at now, I don't need any cables. I don't, we're not going to have a cable box. Um, everything is done through a fire stick, which is going to be plugged in right behind the TV. Yeah. And so we don't need no cables running up and down the walls for the most part, in the house anyway. And I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any guys. I know. And uh, Drew says, count me in. All my labor is free if if it's in the Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't don't even start with her, uh, Drew. I know. I just yeah. You know, you know, Drew, I had I had one of those um it was like a sixty nine microbus and it was one of the really long ones that had like the sink and everything built in and it and Somebody gave it to me, and it was running. This was in high school, dude, a long time ago. 
And I remember it's like, man, I don't want that stupid micro bus. And I look at it now, I'm like, dude, I was an idiot, right? And come to find out, like, the model and year and everything I had and everything was worth, like, $80,000 right now. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, because you can't find them. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Yeah. And so I love all that stuff. Uh, will you make your own cheese from Deb? I'd like to. Yeah, that's something I would definitely like to learn to do, too, is make my own cheese and uh, yogurt. Hey, uh, Drew says he has a 71 Beetle that he'd make a stupid deal on for oh, you, Rob. really? Well, I'd have to talk to the man about it first, but I Well, would, you know. Yeah, no. you know. That's something I would mm. like to do. I just told Anthony that, like, literally... <laughs> Like a couple of weeks, not even a couple of weeks ago. No, like, like two three, days ago. Yeah, like you were like, I really want to do this. You know I'm what like, I would really like to I do? Really? I like to, I'd like to get like an old Volkswagen and fix it up. Like, I want to do it myself. See, Roxanne, she doesn't want to get a car and then have somebody work on it. You guys understand what she's meaning? Just see if you guys understand. Yeah. Because she, hey, she, she knows how to weld. She was a mechanic she, uh, for a factory. Yeah. She's not scared to get, you know, dirty and come home smelling like gear oil yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah, I, so she wants to, what she's saying, you want to do it yourself. Yeah, I want to do it myself. You yeah. want to like rebuild the motor yourself. Yeah. Like learn, you're wrenching it. Yeah, learn how to do all that stuff. Because I do know how like to do like conveyors and stuff like that, like motors and gearboxes. And I get like the basic concept of cars, but I've never worked on cars other than changing oils and tires and batteries. And, all I got to say, you know, <laughs> if, if that happens... I can see a Roxy Homemaker playlist in the making. Oh, that would be fun. Right? <laughs> yeah. That would be oh, cool. Oh, Roxy Homemaker, here, uh, as your chocolate chip cookies uh, are cooling off, you're going to want to take your uh, 916 wrench. We're going to install this wrench, power steering pump. And we're going to rip out this <laughs> <No>. steering pump. <laughs> yeah. <right>? Could <laughs> you guys imagine that? It would be so funny. That would be funny. Roxanne's all eating a homemade cookie from a video she did, right, as she's like, Rebuilding the heads on the on the Volkswagen. I take pictures of like dirty <laughs> hands with cookies in it, you know. Oil and cookies, so you know. <laughs> Roxy of all trades. I'm, t dude. I'm. You guys ain't playing, dude. I'm telling you yeah. guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She was the only female in her line of work at that job. Yeah. I'm serious, guys. Yeah. Like they didn't even want to hire her because she was a girl. How stupid that sounds, but it's true. Well, I had to prove myself. Like, and I'm not trying to make it into, you know, that. I'm not even meaning yeah. it that way. What yeah. I'm saying is, it was a, a yeah. male-dominated field. It was field. very male-dominated. And here's a girl coming in, wanting to be, you know, part of the TS o department. Older, older men. So old, like, crusty men. Yeah, and they were already set in their ways, and here I am, yes. you know, a 20-year-old wanting to do their job, you know. So of yeah, course. you can't do that. You're a girl. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Yeah, twenty years and old. I, I promise you guys. She <laughs> showed them up and she became like the parts manager and ran the whole show. Yeah. And everybody was coming to her for help. Yeah. I trained a lot end. I trained a lot of people too how to yeah. do that job, you know, specifically. No joke guys. Yeah. I promise you. <laughs> I, you know, I do know a thing or two. And Margarita's here. Hi, Margarita. I just seen you right now. Oh, I said and hi. She's Margarita. all. She's all. Haha. That would be great. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> it would be funny. That would be something I would like to do in the future. It'd be like fried chicken and changing oil yeah. at the same time. <laughs> be great. Yeah. <laughs> do you have uh, any single friends? Hee hee hee. Who are you talking to? <laughs> well, I, yeah. If you're talking to me, no, I don't have any single friends. <laughs> I have a couple, but they're far away from here. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Oh, well. I'm telling you, you guys don't understand how much of a badass she is. I'm not playing. Yeah. I'm giving you credit right now. I know you are. <laughs> I give credit where credit is due, yeah, guys. Yeah. And it is due. I, I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah. I mean, you guys seen the pounds I put on yeah. in the past year because of somebody's cooking over here. Yeah. Man. Yeah, cooking and cleaning and. I have a. Working. I have a. I have a theory. Okay? I think when you get married, or if you're like in a really, really steady relationship. Yeah. Like years, right? Like not a couple weeks, years. I think women purposely get their men fatter. Right? So they, they don't look as good. So they're not going to stray. Do you ever think that maybe it's because they just get comfortable? No, I think that's part of it too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking that away. I think people get comfortable. But I think women 
or the man if he's the chef in the in the relationship right yeah right whoever is the cook is where i'm getting at i think they purposely do it ha 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 you put on those five pounds go ahead oh yeah you can go to the bar I don't know. Women get, you know, <laughs> chubby too, you know. That's what I said. It, yeah, whatever, I, whichever way it works, yeah, right? Like, I'm whoever's definitely the no chef, wonder right? Like I was in the That's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think they do it on purpose, guys. Yeah. Rock Drew, says, Drew Glenn says 100% they do it on purpose. I'm telling you. <laughs> they do. Oh, yeah, no. No, go ahead. Hey, you eat this extra piece of pizza. I'm full. Or we're supposed to. As, no, we don't. As they're like, <laughs> they're all, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you have an extra piece. That's what Jamie says. Oh, no, no, we don't, Anthony. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I guys. Don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I tell our rock all the time. I say, you're just trying to get me fat. <laughs> you're trying to get me fat so I'm not good looking anymore. Yeah, and I say, oh, yes, you're, you guessed it. You're like, oh, you figured you, me you out. Figured it you out. figured it, it out. That's been my whole plan all along. This is my, my evil plan <laughs> ever since I met you is to eat you fat. <laughs> now, now be quiet and eat this cupcake. Yeah, okay. you're sure you don't want this cookie? I guess. Yeah, maybe these cookies right. are really good. I'm eating one and she's all, I got a nap. <laughs> Kidding, guys. Okay. Anthony, uh, fire sticks and fans ain't good together. They're all right, Paul. Fire sticks and fans. Well, okay. He's making a joke. You're right. <laughs> fire sticks for the Amazon fire sticks, though. Yeah. The TV stuff. Um, Country Road Cure from Cindy Brown says uh, that's because chubby dudes will still get hit on at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Uh, well, yeah. 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 Hi, how are you all doing? Happy Sunday. Your house is looking really good. Or really beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait and see your house gets done so Roxanne can relax. <laughs> That's from Mariana uh, Brimler. Yeah. Well, it's not just me. It would be him relaxing too. So. And you know what? Honestly, I wouldn't even say that I'm not relaxed. Cause I don't know. I don't feel stressed out about the house. I mean, of course, right? Those are things I'd like to have done, right? I'd, so I'd like to wake up like tomorrow morning and open the house and it's done. But I know that's not going to happen. So I know i got to work towards it. But Well, I will say this. We did say you know, earlier in this year, early on that, when we start working on the house, we're going to take our time. Yeah. Because we, we really like slapped Thunderdome together yeah. really quick, like yeah. in a month and a half. Yeah. Because we needed somewhere to be. But this is our house. I know it's a shed, but I don't even call it a shed anymore. I call it my house. And so I want to take my time and do the best I can that I'm able to do. Yeah. Right. I'm not a professional. You're not a professional at this stuff. And we're learning as we go. And so there's, trust me, guys, there's been tons of time where we'll do something and then we go back and we have to fix it because we messed up on one little thing. Yeah. Or, or just, we, it didn't sit right with us leaving it like that. Yeah. You know, so... Paul says, no, Anthony, no joke. I had to turn the fan in the in the sitting room off when the fire stick was on. Really? Hmm. I, haven't, I haven't heard that, Paul, but um, I don't not believe you. I yes. believe you. Yes. We'll see. Maybe it's the dust or something. I don't know. Like, you know, dust particles everywhere. You just can't see them. Just, you know. Oh, I'm sure they're really bad in here right now. <clears throat> oh, they're horrible in here. Well. Like Some men just don't fatten up no matter what you do. Just have to smell. Yeah, no joke, dude. Yeah. Gary's a stick, yeah. dude. He's a stick. Did he eat. Gary. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, does he, dude. Yeah. Gary can Gary can out eat anybody I know. Yeah. No joke. And that that dude's just got a big appetite, and he's a fast fast eater. And that's good. His metabolism is, but must be like skyrocketed yeah man. hopefully it stays that way. and i told him too i told gary i told him since we've been here i said bro you better be careful dude because one day you're gonna wake up dude and your metabolism is gonna be like down to nothing and all of a sudden you're gonna blow up like a balloon yeah hopefully not i don't think it's gonna ever happen with yeah him, you but, stay active that's yeah. the key i think oh yeah yeah we'll see there was a oh uh carol was like i use my fire stick and fan all the time <laughs> I love fire sticks. They're so great. Yeah, I gotta get more water too. But yeah, go ahead. we're like six minutes over. I know. We're gonna get off um, yeah. here in a second, guys. Oh, here. I'll just come over. We're gonna get off here, guys. Yeah. It's really hot in here. Yeah, it's, it's warm in the house, too, guys. 
We really appreciate you guys being here today. I do want to throw this out. We might not be going live on Sundays anymore. It might be uh, during the week thing. Yeah, we talked about it last We did talk about last week, but we did say if you don't see a thing uh, during the week, then look for it on Sunday. Yeah. But we're still kind of thinking about what day we want to go live on. Because um, we really do want to take Saturday and Sunday for family time. Yeah, we just did it today. Yeah. We have reasons, though. Cindy says Thursdays. Thursday, isn't it? We were thinking about Thursdays, Cindy, hey, quite honestly. So, we appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with us and doing this random walk around live with us. Yeah, and, it was a good live. And I appreciate you guys asking a bunch of questions. I love answering that stuff for you guys. Like I say, here on this channel, for us, Country Road Cure, we have zero transparency. Or all transparency. Yeah, all transparency. Zero transparency. Zero transparency, guys. Yeah, right. You know what I meant. <laughs> we have no, we have no problem like answering questions about anything. Is what I meant. Hundred percent transparency. There you go. There that we go. Better. That's what I meant. You guys have a great evening, guys. Hundred percent, Cindy. Yeah. Gotta love it. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys, and we will see you guys on Tuesday on the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Guys.